We are walking down the main area of Sorrento now. The streets are so cute. There is a lot of charm you can see in the buildings. And there's just like so many really cute boutique type shops. Everyone's just walking around and it's just so nice to be out in the sun. We just finished having lunch at Bellevue Serene. The view is so gorgeous. I just want to show you that there's this beautiful terrace area that is just downstairs of the restaurant. And you can actually see Mount Vesuvius, which is the active volcano. It actually looks better in person, but it has such a great view of the marina. I thought the view was okay, but the ambiance is 10 out of 10. I would definitely just recommend it if you want to come for drinks just to enjoy the view. It's a lovely ambiance and we are so happy to come here on such a beautiful day. Now we're going to be exploring Sorrento a little bit more. Um, it got a little bit warmer so we did change out into a tank and Andrew's wearing some shorts. It was colder this morning but we are glad that it's warming up a lot so hopefully it stays this way for the rest of the week. I can't get over how beautiful this day is. Yesterday it was raining when we arrived and today clear skies. Well it's still a little bit cloudy but it's still warm nice. We stumbled upon this beautiful garden with a ton of lemon trees. It's like a lemon garden. And now we're gonna test out some drinks that they're making in the area. We might try a shot of lemon cello because we've never had that yet. It's pretty strong. It's actually hard A, so. It's sweet. It's not as um, sour as I thought it would be. It's strong. It's strong, hard A. But there is lemon flavor to it. It's just a little bit on the sweeter side than I would expect. It's not as sour, right? Yeah, you get a hint of lemon. We are currently at the rooftop pool area. It's a beautiful day, but unfortunately, it's still a little bit chilly. But wow, check out the views. They are so gorgeous. And we get an even better view of Mount Vesuvius from the top here. The water looks so beautiful and blue. How are you doing? It's cold. <laughs> As you can see, we are back in our hotel room. The afternoon spent in the pool did not work out. It was very nice, but the weather, even though it's sunny, if you're not directly under the sun, it actually gets kind of cold, especially since there's a breeze today. So we just came back into the hotel room. We changed out into warmer clothes and I think we're gonna go look for some coffee or espresso. I definitely need an afternoon kick. We're trying to not fall asleep right now because we do have dinner reservations in a few hours at 8.15 p.m. and we just really want 
to not be so jet lag we want to get back onto the schedule that we have so hopefully the caffeine will help us get through the day so that we can make it through dinner So I ordered the pistachio cappuccino and they actually use real pistachios. I think they're blended. So I'm gonna try it out, I'm stirring it up. This is from Cappuccino Sorrento. They also sell gelato. Oh, I'm just mixing it up. Taste it. Mm. It kind of reminds me of hot chocolate at first. I think because there's like chocolate on top. Okay, so I think at this point we are kind of running out of things to do in Sorrento. You definitely don't need more than maybe like two days here or even one day should be enough. Right now we are in the Royal Hotel. We're just walking in. We don't know if they're allowing outsiders, but there's like a little nice um, table seating area here with the terrace that overlooks Mount Vesuvius. It's actually a really nice hotel. This is called the Royal Hotel. So everywhere we've gone so far, there are a ton of wisteria blooms. I guess maybe they're known for that everywhere here. But wow, this place looks incredible and they have one of the best views. I just like can't stop noticing it today because it's a clear day. Yesterday it was cloudy and raining and today we can actually see the top of Mount Vesuvius. It's the next morning now. It's our third day in Italy. Last night, we went out to dinner at this really good family-owned restaurant. It has two Michelin stars, and the whole experience from start to finish was amazing, but we were stuffed. Our reservation was actually at 8.15 p.m., and it lasted for about three hours. We didn't get home until midnight, and by the time we got home, we were 
pretty stuffed and we fell asleep right away. Good thing is we did get a little bit more sleep in this morning. So hopefully that will fuel us for today. We are planning a day trip to Naples. We're gonna take the train from Sorrento in, try some new pizza places because they're known for that, as well as check out some historical sites. So it's gonna be a good day. The weather, I believe it's sunny later this afternoon, so that's gonna be really good for us. train ride but we finally got here and we haven't even left the station yet but I already got myself something from one of my favorite shops how do you like Naples so far it's crowded yeah, it's crowded. It's That's definitely dirty. it's definitely different from where we were at in Sorrento, which is more of the seaside town. Here it's very city-like. Just kind of what you would expect. I mean, there's like trash everywhere. It's a little bit windy today, so I had a couple of pieces of debris just fly and hit right in my nose. Um, so what you would expect when you're in the city. We are on our way to our first place to eat at and it's supposed to be a bakery that sells sfogliati. They're pretty well known so we're gonna go ahead and try it out. It's a pastry that's supposed to be really crisp on the outside but soft on the inside so let's see if it's good. to Naples there's actually a lot of really cute alleyways we just had some pastries and we had two pizza places on the list but I am still so 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 full so I think we're gonna walk around a little bit and maybe visit a couple of museums before we eat the pizza but check out these alleyways they are so cute and charming These are actually the original tiles that we have to walk on. So they asked us to wear protective, what is the cloths over our shoes. So this is what it looks like.
at the museum and I feel really tired today. I don't know if it's just the jet lag that is still hitting me, but we stopped by McDonald's to get a McCafe. I ordered a cappuccino. They actually have like a full McCafe bar set up with an espresso machine and a bunch of pastries. So it's pretty legit. And we're just having our coffee out here in this um, area. It's actually a lot warmer now. It's a beautiful day. We're just gonna chill here for a little bit. The weather's much nicer now. It's a lot warmer and sunny. And then we're gonna head over to the shopping area. in Milan looks like. Look at this. Look at the ceiling. Wow. Look at this. Wow. There's a guy singing over there. I think he's just really happy to be here. Look. Which is a plaza for city events. This is actually more my cup of tea. I love the architecture. It's much nicer than where we were in the beginning when we first exited the train station. There are some vintage cars here as well and they look really cool. You can actually see the view of the water from here and we think that's I'm pretty sure that's Mount Vesuvius, the volcano. Oh. And it just overlooks the water. It's really nice. People just come out here to sit and chill. The weather is perfect right now. And we're just chilling here for about an hour before we go on our next tour at the Barbonica. Where we might do a little bit more shopping before then, but this place is so much nicer than where we were at earlier. There's a ton of people out here, which probably because it's a Sunday. Um, but the nice thing is all these big places are right next to each other. So there's the Galleria, this Piazza thing, that's Duomo. We are at the marina area in Naples and you can get a much closer view of Mount Vesuvius from here. It's the next day now. I believe it's day four of Italy. It's really hard to keep track when you're on vacation. But yesterday we took a day trip to Naples. It was about an hour train ride from Sorrento 
to Naples and towards the end of the night we did get pizza for dinner but we were sort of rushing to finish our food so that we could catch the last train and the last train from Naples to Sorrento yesterday it was Sunday was actually 9 30 p.m. so we definitely didn't want to miss that last train otherwise we would have gotten stuck there so we were rushing 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 I didn't get to vlog too much um, last night after dinner but today we are going to Capri. So we're gonna be taking the ferry and heading over soon. Again, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next vlog.